And we're back for the next recipe. This one is for barbecue one pot chili served six cooks up in 50 minutes. This chili is meant to be shared, made with a special ingredient that adds a touch of smokiness. It's a standout chili recipe that's absolutely delicious and totally comforting. Make our barbecue one pot chili the next time you're looking for something that will really warm their hearts. And their bellies. Yeah. This is unlike any other chili recipe that you'll ever have. Believe me when I say this. So anyway. Let's move on to the stuff that you're going to need. You're going to need a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Two pounds of ground beef. I'd go for an 80-20 in this one. That way it works. It it works perfect. A large onion chopped, four cloves of garlic finely chopped, and no, you can't get the one from the jar. You gotta use real garlic for this one, because that will make all the difference. A 20 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. <sighs> Two 15 and a half ounce cans of kidney beans drained. Bushes, Goya, Progresso, any brand will do. Two cups of barbecue sauce. Two tablespoons of chili powder. <coughs> Excuse me. Two teaspoons of cumin. One half teaspoon of salt. And half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. In a large pot over, the, over medium high heat, you heat the oil until it's hot. Add beef, onion, and garlic and cook until the meat is browned. Strain occasionally. And with that, you drain off your excess liquid. And then you add the tomatoes, kidney beans, barbecue sauce, chili powder, cumin, salt, and pepper, and stir to mix it well. Now if the barbecue sauce could be any brand, great value, Kraft, PC Masterpiece, Sweet Baby Ray's, Stubbs barbecue sauce will work just fine, or low carb, or no sugar barbecue sauce, whatever you'd like. There's a lot of brands of barbecue sauce around, so pick the one that you're that you'd like to go with, and that'll be your barbecue one pot chili. So there's no limit. Now you cover it and simmer for 30 minutes, and this is very very important. Stir occasionally, because you don't want your chili to burn. No one likes burnt chili. I don't. And when it's done, just serve it up piece of cornbread will do just fine. Or you can use a buttered biscuit, whatever you want. But anyway, this barbecue one pot chili is definitely one chili recipe that you'll all that you'll always want seconds of. So log on to MrFood.com and find this recipe. That'll do it. I got one more recipe coming up, so stay tuned and don't go away.